expectant pregnant lady named Natalia is shown as the movie starts. Then it's time for him to be exposed to his expectancy. Natalia's mother, Alina, is also present at the time. Natalie's condition is starting to bother her, and her mother immediately takes her to the hospital. Due to the late hour, most doctors are not present, but there is a nurse who treats her, and Natalia gives birth a baby. But when they see the baby, they are all taken aback and concerned, because everything I saw was unbelievable, because baby starts flying in the air. Natalia is also left surprised, and she says to her mother that an angel child has bred in their house. Being wise and experienced, Natalia's mother understands that he is not normal, and it is truth because that baby comes without gravity. They are unprotected people so leave the hospital. While nurse tells them, it is not the time of their discharge but they come to their house ignoring her. Natalia's mother asks her a strange question coming into house. She asks that you remember the child's guardian, but Natalia is unable to recall the child's guardian. Then her mother tells that this child is not normal, so we have to keep it a secret, and we can face a lot of difficulties if someone knows about it. Then they choose child's name which is Oscar and Oscar was in reality an uncommon child because his fostering was not easy. He used to stick with Ceiling for a long time as they leave him alone. His grandmother makes the different straps for him to keep that child on the ground. They also make the Ceiling pulpy and feathery so the child may not get harm because they had fear as if they leave him outside alone he will go to the space flying in the air. So they are very careful about Oscar. His mother and grandmother take care of him much. Oscar starts growing with the passage of time, but he remains in the house. His grandmother does not allow him to go outside. He used to watch the cartoons of Superman living at home. He also used to imagine as he is a superhero. Then Oscar asks from his mother Natalia for many times that why do they not allow him to go outside? They, however, ignore it. Oscar sees people through the window, including kids like him who are on their way to school. And he used to look at the playing kids with longing eyes, longing for an independent life. He thinks as he will perhaps imprison here forever. Then, one day, Oscar tries to escape through the window, irritated by the confinement of the house. But his grandmother is got furious seeing him. Observing all action, grandmother seals all windows, and she guides Oscar that he will never go outside from the house like the school-going kids. And he will read living at home. Hearing it, Oscar's mother is got angry, and she says, how much time will we keep him in imprisonment? He will go outside at one time. Then Oscar mother brings a jacket for him keeping the two stones in its pockets so that he may no fly. She takes Oscar outside ignoring her mother. Moreover, she asks her to not tell the secret to anyone like Superman otherwise he will not be a Superman. One Oscar goes with his mother for the purchasement of goods and collides with a child girl. That child girl name is Aghada. Aghada's goods are fallen down from her hand. She shouts on Oscar handing over him two water bottles. She says, it is your punishment to leave these bottles at my house. But Oscar refuses it. But Oscar agrees on the insistence of Vaghada, and he goes with that child girl without telling his mother. Now two heavy bottles are in the hands of Oscar, and stones are also in his pockets. As a result, he is feeling slightly overweight, so he drops the two stones getting out his pocket. His friendship is developed with Aghada now, reaching at her home. Aghada asks the water bottles. 
But Oscar refuses to return the water bottles because he knows that he will start flying in the air if the bottles are returned. Aghada is immature, so she snatches the water bottles from Oscar. As she takes water bottles from Oscar, he starts flying in the air. That place is bound in its surroundings, so Oscar does not fly too high. Aghada is left astonished seeing it and calls her Superman while shouting. Oscar asks help from her. Hearing it, Aghada immediately goes in her house and brings her pink bag filled with stones. It was the good idea of them that he will put these stones in his pocket. Their plan is successful and Oscar descends. Then they become bosom friends. Then Oscar says to Aghada, promise me, you will keep it secret. On the other side, mother and grandmother are worried because of Oscar's disappearance. They search him enough and they think it as he has flown in the air. His mother finds the stones fallen on the ground which she has been put in his pocket. Then Oscar returns to house with the given bag of Aghada and tells about Aghada to his mother. Then his mother asks, have you told your secret to her somewhere? But he tells a lie saying that I did not tell. Then Oscar and Aghada continues to meet with each other for many days. Then one day Oscar's mother comes to know that Aghada is aware of this secret. His mother forbids him from meeting Aghada after that day. Aghada used to come at Oscar's house but is returned back at the doorstep by Natalia. Then they become suspicious in the eyes of the people in their surroundings because they were feeling as Oscar's mother and grandmother mistreats him. So they don't allow him to come outside. And he does also not go to school. They report police about it and police arrives at their house next day warning them to send Oscar in school. And they had to send Oscar school under pressure. Then Oscar's mother goes to school with him. They are certain that Oscar will never be able to live a normal life. As they bring Oscar, their eyes well up with tears. Her mother understands everything so decides to leave the house. Then they begin to live at a place far away leaving their house. Many years are passed and Oscar is also grown young. His mother is grown old while grandmother is no more. And Oscar has still that bag given by Aghada. He never separated that bag from him. Even he used to sleep taking this bag with him. His way of living was still same even today spending life at home. His life is spending on secrecy. Oscar and his mother used to care each other. Asakar bored from his life. He was under frustration hiding this secret. Then he thinks that in a short time, he will be famous throughout the world like his ideal Superman, if world knows about him. And many people will write books on him, but his mother does not desire as such. But his mother explains, it will not happen. She thinks of losing him if world knows of this secret. For the sake of her mother, he exhibits patience. But one day, he rushes out of the house without telling his mother. Then he visits a magic show to display his talent first time where the talents of the people are revealed. This show touches the peak at that night. And his mother also views that show. Oscar's mother is helpless in this matter. Many people had seen him on TV making him well known. He meets a man named David next day. He is in fact agent. He guarantees Oscar that he can support him in becoming well known. We will arrange crowd puller that will make you famous. He gives him a big house for his residence staking the signature on a contract agreement. Oscar desired to be famous. Going in a big show, he shows his performance. Oscar becomes a well-known personality too soon. And afterward, he is named the man without gravity. Those people have enjoyed in their work earning a lot of money. 
But one day Oscar feels that his childhood dreamed to be superhero. In fact, he is not superhero. He has become just a puppet which is used by the people for their amusement. Sometimes he was called in magic show and sometimes in media event. He begins to dislike it with the passage of time. Although many books are written on him and many magazines are printed and documentaries are made showing the bad image of his mother and grandmother and it is disliked by Oscar. Then there is last show where he is costumed of an angel which he hates. He says, I am not angel. He begins to say ill to people in the show getting angry. Then he says to his mother that he has decided to leave all these things. He tells his agent, enough. I don't want to be famous and my work was till this time. He will not work more. His agent explains, you cannot leave it as such. But Oscar is irritated by all these. He asks him to tell people, the man without gravity has passed away or flown in the air. He says goodbye to his mother because he wants to live a separate life. In the coming days, it will be revealed that the man without gravity has died. Many people talk differently about him. Oscar's mother start living alone. <laughs> and many journalists continue their visit in their house for taking information about Oscar, but she never tells anything to them. After many years, Oscar's mother is also died, but Oscar was still alive. He was leading his life in a different way. He had a long beard and used to sit on wheelchair in order to hide his secret from world. He has changed his identity doing a job in a hotel as a receptionist. Everyone was courteous to him. One day, he runs into his friend Dag too. She recognizes him because of Pink Bag, which was still with Oscar Reven today, which she had given him in childhood. And he remained on the ground due to this bag and did not get married. They feel happiness meeting with each other. But Tag Hata was unsatisfied from her life because her purpose was only to earn money so she had no conscience. He used to visit with many lads in that hotel where Oscar was on job. Oscar feels very bad seeing her. Oscar many times share his feelings with Tag Hata. She has too changed so ignores his wording. It is declared on it that Oscar had still feelings for her. Woes are the reason of that hottest changing of life. And Oscar also left her too. They eventually come to terms with each other and marry. And they begin to share the same childhood home. And the movie completes here.